Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back uh, to the build for the American Graffiti's uh, 1956 Ford Thunderbird I've been working on. Um, as you can see in front of you, I pretty much uh, have the whole interior part of the car um, assembled. Um, so my next step will be, you know, of course, working on the uh, uh, exterior parts of the body. But uh, kind of just let me show you what's going on with this uh, real quick. Um, see, I bring the light in for you. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see, it's pretty busy here in the uh, engine uh, compartment area. Uh, a lot of small parts that I had to kind of put in there and uh, wedge in there. Uh, and I confess, I didn't use uh, one or two parts in there because it was so busy in here. Um, couldn't really get them all in. Basically, it was just one one item. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, we got the you know the radiator in there and the fan housing and um, radiator hose and uh, installed the battery and uh, other other different components uh, inside the engine compartment. So uh, that's all done up and everything. And like I said, later on I'll go ahead and seal it one more time with some uh, future uh, just to kind of protect the paint and everything. Um, <clears throat> as far as the interior bucket area let me go ahead and turn her over here a little bit uh, hopefully it stays in focus for you uh, but you know we went ahead and installed the uh, the seats and the you know end panels uh, like I said my sister wanted everything black uh, for the interior um, I did uh, for the steering wheel uh, I first applied the uh, satin and then I actually used my black sharpie pen to kind of give it that gloss look for the actual steering wheel itself uh, and then applied the uh, sterling silver for the horn area and uh, it's very subtle but uh, as far as the dashboard is concerned um, I went ahead and dry brushed uh, some of the highlight items uh, with some sterling silver just to kind of give it that silver black uh, uh, look to it just kind of break up the color a little bit um, one thing about the floor panels or you know the floorboard sorry uh, it does come with a simulated kind of uh, carpeting look to it so I kind of just left it like that uh, here you can see it looks like a stick shift I, I went ahead and uh, used the sharpie uh, for the knob just give it that gloss coat uh, for the top of the st uh, stick shift um, so and I did the same thing with you know either side of the uh, door panels very subtle but uh, use the uh, sharpie uh, sterling silver for the uh, window cranks and the uh, door latches um, so uh, you know this this part of it turned out really well and uh, like I said I'll go ahead and uh, you know, uh, use the future to uh, protect everything that I've done so far uh, for this build. Uh, if we turn it over, <coughs> you can see I got all the components uh, attached on the underside here. Um, like I said, not uh, no weathering or anything like that. She wanted brand new, like it was coming off a lot. Uh, I will do some touch up on the uh, mufflers and stuff like that, just to kind of bring it back up because some paint did come off, but. I'll go ahead and <clears throat> retouch all that stuff up. But uh, as you can see, everything is uh, looking good. So uh, <clears throat> stay tuned and uh, we'll be back shortly. Well, as you can see we're back out here in the garage and uh, I went ahead and took the uh, car body, the hood, the hard top and the uh, spare uh, wheel out here <clears throat> and I basically uh, went ahead and sprayed it with some adhesion uh, promoter from Duplicolor and uh, once that was done I did the Krylon uh, primer gray ultra flat uh, and I'm basically right now just uh, waiting for it to dry. I'll probably give it a day or so uh, just for the uh, primer to cure 
and then we'll go ahead and sand it down to uh, 600 grit uh, wet sanding paper to get it nice and smooth before we put on the actual uh, base colors. So uh, there you have it. Stay tuned. Well, right now I'm in the uh, process of uh, using some 600 grit wet sanding paper to uh, knock down some of the uh, Krylon uh, primer ultra flat gray that I sprayed uh, on the uh, kit here uh, a day or so ago. So uh, I just want to use a 600 grit to knock it down like I said and it, make it nice and smooth so that it'll be ready for uh, our paint. So I'm just kind of finishing up on this and I'm just kind of lightly going over it, not enough to take the uh, primer completely off, uh, but just to, uh, like I said, uh, get as smooth as I can um, with the 600. So uh, I pretty much got the hard top done, the hood done, and the uh, Continental kit, uh, and just finishing up on the main body of the car right now. But I just kind of want to show you kind of like what I do here uh, as I'm going through the prepping process of the uh, getting the car ready. So, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I'll continue with this. You know, I won't bore you guys uh, uh, with the total sanding portion. But uh, I just, like I said, wanted to show you the process that I do um, when I'm uh, doing car kits. So we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned. As you can see, we finished up on the uh, sanding down on the 600 grit uh, wet sanding paper on uh, all the parts. Uh, <clears throat> once I got done with that, I uh, swing this guy kind of over a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> I used some of the 91% uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol to uh, wipe all the excess uh, dust that was created by the uh, wet sanding paper since I didn't use actually water I just kind of did like a dry sanding um, just to clean up the uh, the parts up real good so uh, we are now ready for some paint uh, it's nice and smooth um, <clears throat> you can see how nicely detailed everything is on the uh, exterior of the body and like I said I just kind of use my my hands to feel the smoothness uh, so uh, we're ready to go. As you can see here, there's nice little panel lines all the way through the vehicle. Um, there's your trunk. And then the other side here as well. Uh, we have the uh, <coughs> inscription of Thunderbird on the rear panel. And uh, again, some nice panel lines around the doors. Um, you can see the doorknob, key lock, all nicely detailed. And uh, of course, then we have the front part of the uh, car, which with the headlights. So, uh, <clears throat> like I said, we're we're pretty much ready to go with that. Uh, I <clears throat> also did the hood as well. So that's all smoothed out and ready to go for paint. And uh, again, nicely detailed. And uh, <clears throat> of course, here's our hard top. Again, with little portholes on the uh, rear side, nicely detailed. Here's your uh, back rear window for the hard top. And of course, you know, the other side's the same as the previous side. Uh, but like I said, once again, nicely smooth, detailed out with the 600 grit sanding paper. And that one's ready to go. <coughs> and then we have our Continental Kit spare tire here. Uh, nice and smoothed out and uh, also ready for some paint. Uh, like I said, the, uh, <clears throat> the spare tire part is going to be white. Uh, it'll make a gloss white. Uh, <clears throat> and as well as the uh, hard top is going to be uh, painted as the, the uh, same as in the uh, gloss white as well. Uh, just to break up the tone of the, uh, the royal blue. So... Uh, <clears throat> There you go. So, uh, till next time, uh, we'll uh, start the uh, painting process and uh, be one step closer to finishing this up. So, until then, catch y'all later. Bye.